the gases move move freely through. As an emissions researcher, Dave Risk measures greenhouse gases. Risk is among 75 scientists from 12 countries who collaborated on a first-of-its-kind study in the Arctic. We have a lot more carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere than we thought. In the first coordinated carbon measurements in winter, the scientists measured the ground at more than 100 sites around the circumpolar Arctic. We always have to remember this uh, kind of balance with the carbon dioxide that's taken in by the vegetation annually and then, and then the amount that's released from soils. For thousands of years, Arctic land areas have soaked up CO2 from the atmosphere and preserved it in the soil. But now, with permafrost melting in the winter, it releases carbon, and that's a big concern. The researchers found carbon emissions of 1.7 billion tons a year. That's twice as high as previous estimates and more than tundra plants can absorb during the summer. The report warns winter CO2 emissions will likely increase in the near future as temperatures continue to rise. However, this can be mitigated with a reduction of global greenhouse gas emissions. This is um, sort of uh, exacerbating our understanding of how quickly, uh, or I guess um, highlighting how quickly we need to reduce all fossil fuel emissions because things might be getting worse quicker than we thought. The report says carbon emissions from Arctic soil will keep increasing even if there are moderate cuts to greenhouse gases. If nothing is done, scientists say the outcomes will be much worse. Ross Lohr, Global News. Dartmouth, Nova Scotia.